Some people would be shocked at that statement if you do it the way I'm showing you here. This was never designed or intended to be an exercise that you crank out huge amounts of repetitions on. If you do it like I show you here, you're actually be trading in the repetition count once again for quality. And when you do it, you will light up your obliques. You sit back into a posterior tilt. You allow your thoracic spine to round here. One of the very few times I'd be in favor of that. And by doing so, you're actually limiting the amount of rotation you're gonna get in your spine. But the rotation you do get will be driven by and controlled by the obliques. You can see as I rotate, I'm actually working both obliques, the internal and the external obliques, more subtly on the internal obliques because they're underneath, but you can see the movement underneath there, the activity. As I rotate in one direction, as I rotate in the opposite direction, those obliques will alternately fire. You're getting that on both sides here. Again, each one a definitive calculated repetition that is designed to limit the amount of rotation, but again, increase the quality of